Hello then, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? If you are new here, how are you? My name is Achola and here on Achola's Closet, we talk personal style and how to look and feel amazing at any budget. Your girl has reached 100 plus subs and I thought to celebrate, I will do a quick Q&A so you guys get to know me a little bit better now that we are family and also feel free to answer a question or two down below that way i get to know you as well i would love to get to know you and um, see what we have in comment that will be nice no but before we dive into the video i would like to send a big thank you to all of you my 104 subscribers for subscribing to my channel and also to those of you who have been watching commenting liking my videos i appreciate you all so much and um you know my goal when i started my youtube back in january was to reach 100 subs by june and you all have made that a reality for me so i appreciate you and i thank you very much now i know it's been a while did you all miss me i miss you and so today I just honestly want to get a video out because I'm like, we can't go on like this. Now back to the questions. I'm excited. First question, what is your full name? My name is Estela Achola Lokiru. Now Estela is my baptism name. Achola is my traditional name. And um, you can call me Stella, call me Achola, whichever one is comfortable for you i honestly don't have a preference what city were you born in i was born and raised in juba south sudan were you named after anyone yes achola is my great grandmother's name and um, i am very honored to be named after her coffee or tea definitely tea but i prefer green or anything that is fruity I cannot stand the taste of coffee. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Taurus and I was also born in the Chinese year of dragon. What's one item in your bucket list? Traveling to India. Are you an introvert or extrovert? Definitely an introvert. Going out and meeting new people scares me. What is one item you cannot leave your house without? You know, for a long time, it used to be my wallet, but now I can definitely say my phone. <laughs> what is your favorite music genre? Honestly, I don't have a favorite genre. I listen to music based on lyrics and how I relate to them. You know, growing up, I grew up on African music, so a lot of Congolese music in my house even though I understand zero words. Don't judge me. I'm sure we've all been there. And you know how they say music is a universal language. So for me, it's how it makes me feel. So Congolese music, I also listen to a lot of Acholi music. If, I, if I'm ever in something a little upbeat, definitely Acholi music, a little bit of Afrobeat. Um, I love to listen to Arabic music as well, so like Middle Eastern music. So I listen to artists like Nancy Ajram, Alyssa, Amir Munib, Mohammed Fouad. Um, when it comes to North American music, I listen to a lot of country. I live for Shania Twain. Do you speak any different languages? I do. You know, I speak Arabic and um, my parents are from two tribes in South Sudan, so Acholi and Dedinga. I speak a little bit of Acholi and I also speak a little bit of Dedinga, plus Arabic and English, so yeah. How would you describe your style? My style over the years has evolved and changed so much, but um, if I can describe it in three words, I would say very fashion forward, classic and um, classic with a little bit of an edge and um, just clean like I love clean lines 
why did you start a YouTube channel? I want to share with you that you don't need to have a lot of money to look expensive. You can look expensive on, you know, any budget. To give you an insight of my thought process when it comes to, you know, putting outfits together and things like that. But um, yeah, I just want to come on here and share my passion for fashion with you guys. So, And I hope you are finding a little inspirations on my channel. However, if you do have any video requests or anything like that, leave them in the comment section or if you are following me on Instagram, DM them to me and I would love to make a video around your requests and topics. What is your favorite dessert? You know, I'm a cheesecake kind of girl and my favorite one is definitely the um, strawberry swirl. Do you still watch cartoons? Yes, I do. And honestly, you're never too old to watch cartoons. How old were you when you got your first pair of high heels? I think I was 10 or 11 years old and that was back in Khartoum, Sudan. I bought a pair of this gorgeous satin wedge heel. How tall are you? Now, honestly, this one, when I usually tell people, they don't believe me, but I am 5'5". Five five. Now, you know, over the years, I understand why they don't believe that I'm 5'5". Five five. Reason is, I live in high heels and um, a lot of my heels are four inches and up i don't do kittens baby i say if you're going to do heels do heels so that already you know gives me a four inch height boost and um but another thing also is most of my body is legs i have extremely long legs and my torso is a little bit shorter you know and um, so whenever people will see my pictures and whatnot, they just assume I'm much taller. But I am 5'5". Five five. What is the most expensive item of clothing that you own? Now, for item of clothing, I didn't know if it included shoes. I did a little bit of Google search, but it just won't tell me much. Like, different people just give you different answers. But, um, you know, for shoes, definitely my Angelina high heels here is the most expensive. This one was on sale for $5.89. So when it comes to clothing, the most expensive I own is definitely my Paco Rabanne Assemble dress. Now this dress regular price was almost three grand but I bought it for 300. So what is your favorite color or colors? My favorite colors are definitely cobalt blue and red. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is definitely public speaking. I kid you not, I cannot stop shaking. A lot of the times I will lose my voice and I tend to stutter a lot, like the words just won't come out right. You know, when I first started my YouTube as well, even though it's just me in my living room, right in front of the camera here, I used to get so scared making those videos to a point where I will have to reshoot my videos at least four or five times because by the time I get to the fifth, I'm usually a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more comfortable. And, um, but yeah, so, but as we progress here, I feel like I am getting better at this, don't you think? Yeah, it's becoming a little bit better. You can literally, you know, I feel more myself now when I sit here and shoot videos. What do you do for a living? I am a mannequin stylist and I'm also a personal stylist personal shopper so if you guys ever need you know help putting looks together or if you ever want someone just to go shopping with you let me know if you are following me on Instagram DM me I would love to come shopping with you and um, you know just help you out put looks together and all of that stuff what did you want to be when you were younger honestly when I was younger I wanted to be a teacher and if I can choose one subject I would be a math 
teacher because I love math and I used to tutor math. How many shoes do you own? I honestly lost count. <laughs> Um, I kid you not, um, you know, about two years ago, I counted my shoes. Actually, no, when I first moved into my current house, so that's about three years ago, I counted all of my shoes. There were just, a, just about 90 pairs of shoes. And um, you know, in the last three years as well, I've gotten rid of a lot of shoes, but I've also added new shoes. I'm actually thinking about doing an inventory of my shoes just to see what I have and what I need to add into my collection. So once that is done, I will let you guys know how many pairs of shoes I own. But if I can give you an estimate right now, I would say 60 pairs of shoes, mostly heels. I'm learning to buy some plaits now to add into my collection as well last but not least what did you do for your last birthday well you know growing up in juba birthdays were like non-existent well at least in my household anyway we never really celebrated birthdays or anything like that and now in canada i honestly don't celebrate birthdays not much and um, this year was actually, it was just May 12th and um, my boyfriend's brother wanted to come over and celebrate it anyway. If I'm going to celebrate or not, he was coming over to celebrate my birthday with me. And um, so I was like, you know what, I'll cook dinner. He brought cake and I also had my sister and niece come over. They brought me more cake. And um, so basically it was just a dinner. We had the cake, no candle on it or anything. And that was it. But um, yeah, how do you celebrate your birthdays? I wanna know, are you one of those people that usually you know, celebrate for an entire month? Or do you celebrate an entire week? Or do you usually like to take your birthday off, let's say work or whatever? Let me know, because I know a few people that will prefer to have the day off on their birthdays if they're working and whatnot. And I'm just like, why? I can work, make money, and then, you know, go celebrate after. But let me know, I'm interested. But with that, that is it. Now, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope this video will inspire you to hit that subscribe button to join our fashion family here. And um, with that, you have a great rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.